Are you looking for a Windows PC that's actually under 200 bucks and you can buy it online right now? What do we find? Let's go find out. All right, so if you watch my channel, you know a couple things. You know, number one, I do a lot of Apple videos. This one's a little bit different. And you also know I try to save people money. So I'm gonna actually concentrate on PCs today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a number of PCs that I found that are under, basically under $200 that are usable. And when I say usable, it means email, um, web browsing, you know, YouTube videos. We're not doing CAD stuff from work and we're not gonna be doing, you know, high-end video editing or anything like that. But these are gonna be systems that include Windows. And, and of course, Windows is again, Windows itself is around, you know, 130 bucks if you buy it separately. So keep that in mind, 130 bucks just for Windows. These are gonna have Windows, they're gonna have some capability, which I'll go through and I'll show you. And they're gonna be capable enough for kind of a burner PC if there's even such a thing where you can just buy it for the pandemic and uh, use it for a couple months or even for a year and then maybe sell it or just give it to maybe a young, you know, younger person in your family or something. So these computers are gonna be capable and they're gonna still work fine and they're gonna be under $200. This is not a review, just keep, you know, if you were looking for reviews of these systems, I'm not gonna review them. And my channel, I, a lot of times I like, just go out and try to find stuff to help people. So I found five or six different PCs out there wanted to see what the capability was and you know, I can show you I have a little way of doing that and then I'm going to show you what they all include and uh, we'll go from there let me know what you think let me know if you think that these are capable and if these are worth your hard-earned under $200 um, I mean granted nowadays you can barely buy you know an expensive dinner out maybe for Valentine's Day for that so it's it's not too bad for a computer technology has gotten so good now it's just pretty incredible but anyways let's go I'm going to show you guys these let's get through them Oh yeah, really quickly, I'm gonna start with the lowest one I found and then explain why it's maybe not the best idea and then we'll go to a little bit better ones next. All right, so let's start with the cheapest one I found and why I don't recommend getting this one. But we'll start with that one first. So the very first one is on Tiger Direct. I'll have links to all these computers in the description, the video description, so you can check them out there. Here's the first one I found. And again, these are gonna be refurbished, a lot of these, so just keep that in mind. These are refurbished, usually grade A refurbished, so they should be perfectly fine. You're not gonna get these cheap costs unless you actually have refurbished systems. Anyways, here's the first one. It's an HP Elite 8200. It's got an i5. It's got an older i5, but it does have an i5, a 2400S quad-core. So quad-core computer at this cost, four gigs of RAM. This is my problem. And then 250 gigabyte HDD, which is a spinning drive. And any, the graphics and things aren't gonna really matter because we basically are just gonna be doing normal tasks, just, just web browsing and stuff. But really, this does come with Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, which by itself is, is cheaper, or is actually more money than $99. So just this alone usually costs $130. This is only $99 for this entire package. But I don't recommend it. And there's a lot of reasons why, but uh, it really comes down to the hard drive and things like that. Um, now, what we're gonna show you a lot of other ones if you just spend a little bit more that are gonna be a lot more capable. But at the end of the day, one way to check out if a, if a CPU is actually pretty powerful is go ahead and you copy the CPU. Here it is, i5-2400S. What you wanna do is you wanna go into Google and just type in the name, the CPU up here, you can see it up here, and then benchmark after it. And the CPU benchmark.net comes up, and you wanna click on that. And you can do this with any CPU. Here's a number down here, and this number is kind of, you know, you're not gonna know what it really means, but I can tell you anything over about 2,000 is definitely capable for an everyday computer if you're not doing like video editing or anything high CPU processing, that, you know, like CAD drawings and stuff. So this is 3147, and all the other CPUs I'm gonna show you today are gonna be higher than this or at least this. So this is kind of the range I use. If it's over 2,000, 2,500, definitely capable. It's got the four cores, so use that process. Now let's go through the rest of them. So for these next ones, I really wanted to keep it under $200, but I really kind of upped my criteria. I wanted at least eight gigs of RAM, and I wanted an SSD, because those make probably the biggest differences there, eight gigs and an SSD. So let's go through the rest of them, but that was my criteria for the rest of them, and it has to be under $200 also. All right, so here's the next one. This one's only $128.89, so about 28 bucks more. It's the HP Elite 8200 again. It's the i5-2400S, same, same basic processor. This has actually got eight gigs of RAM and 128 gig SSD, and then same Windows 10 Professional. It is a renewed system, but for about you know the cost of maybe a McDonald's meal for two, 28 additional dollars, you get the SSD and you also get the eight gigs of RAM versus four, and that'll make a world of difference on this system. So this system will be capable capable of doing basic spreadsheets, basic web browsing, YouTube, you name it. I mean, not video editing and not gaming or anything like that, but just I'm talking in case you're back out, you need to do basic work on this for your work or something, as long as it's not taxing. So that's my number two pick there. I'll have links to these in, again in the description. Let's go on to my number three pick. 
If we go up a little bit further, this is 159.46, and this is the Dell Optiplex 7010 Ultra Small Form Factor, so it's a smaller form factor. It's got an i5 3470S, so actually, you know, it's going to be a little bit faster than the last one. It's a, one more newer generation, 2.9 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM, 240 gigabyte SSD, and then Windows 10 Professional. So again, we're going up another, what is that, 20 bucks or so, and we're, now we're going up to a 240 gigabyte SSD, which is kind of what I recommend the minimum being, more, more or less, I would say. You know, some people have a different take on that, but I think about 240 is the minimum. This, this system will definitely be capable enough, and I think this might even come with a keyboard it's showing, but I, I'm not sure. But for 159, you can't go wrong there, and uh, it's a great system if you're just looking for that cheap, cheap system. All right, so the next one here is going to be the HP Elite 800, Elite Desk 800 G1. It's got an i5, it's 3.2 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, and 240 gigabyte SSD, and it's got Windows 10 Pro. It's 184, so we're going up, there, creeping up there, another 20 bucks on there. And now we have 16 gigs of RAM, so an additional 8 gigs of RAM and a 240 SSD drive, which is crazy. And I believe this has the updated, it does have an updated CPU over the ones we showed you before. And so when you go up a little bit higher, you can see that this is this is something that's, you know, 16 gigs and 240 SSD is a great deal, and it's, you know, but is it like 50 bucks more than the cost of just Windows? Windows if you bought Windows by itself. So this is one I recommend. It's a little, you know, this is a still a small form factor, but I'm going to show you some mini computers next, but this is, you know, this is one I highly recommend. All right, so for a lot of people that couldn't believe it, you can actually get a mini computer for this as well, for under this $200. So here, Lenovo M92P Tiny Business Micro Tower, and I'm going to show you in a second how small this is. Let's just scroll down. Look at this. This is about the size of it next to golf balls or your hand here. It's got a lot of ports on it. You can see over here in the right-hand picture. You guys can check it out online. I have description, you know, links in the description. But what I'm going to show you really quickly is just the cost of this and what it includes. So it's got good reviews. Let's go back up. It's renewed again. It's 181.88. Comes with the. Uh, it's an ultra small. It comes with eight gigs of RAM, an i5 3470T, and 256 gigabyte SSD, all in that tiny little form factor. Ports on the front and the back, and still under 200 bucks. And uh, I mean, you know, if, if space is an issue or if you just want that cool factor, this is a great system and you're not breaking the bank. All right, and then the last one I want to show everyone, it's 185, and it's basically going to be in the same. It's really close to the other one. It's going to have a little bit a newer generation CPU, but it's only an i3. It's the HP 600 G1 Micro, and it's got the i3 4160, so again, the fourth generation, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte solid state drive, SSD, and it's renewed. It's got Windows 10 Pro. Pro. So this is the same kind of a system as the one I just showed you. It's just made by a different manufacturer. It's got a lot of ports on the front and the back. I believe this one does come with the keyboard. And uh, you can see, uh, let's see if you can see the back. It's not showing the back. Maybe down here it'll show the back on of the computer for you. For some reason it's not doing that, but there is a lot of ports on it. So go ahead and check this one out. I think this is probably this one or the last one if you want a mini PC. is one of the better pricing that's out there on these type of systems where you really just want to get something that's going to, you know, obviously be tiny. You can slip it on, the, on your desk somewhere. But but for the cost, you just can't beat these. All right, so what did you think? Not too bad, huh? Now, $200 is not a lot of money, and I have a whole range here. So I started really, really low, and then I went up to a little bit more of the high $200 range. So there's so there's a quite a difference there, almost of double. Um, at the end of the day, though, you can't expect much when Windows is 130 by itself, and then you have to add hard drives, motherboards, cases, power supplies, everything else. These things all add up, and that's the problem. Like you, when you build your own computer, you can probably build a much more powerful computer for not that much more. But do you want the hassle? Do you want the you know just in case things don't compatible? Or do you know what you're doing? These are reasons why you'd buy something like this. Again, these are refurbished, and they're not going to be you know the number one thing that's out there. But at the end of the day, they are going to help you get through you know this pandemic if you're working from home they're going to work fine and uh, you know they're going to be good enough for what you need you know ultimately just doing basic tasks anyways you guys know my channel I do Apple a lot of Apple stuff check my channel all PC stuff all different types of technology I do and if you can support my channel click the like button it's going to really help me out make more videos like this hope everyone can you know obviously subscribe if they have not done that already and I'll talk to you soon I make a couple of videos a week peace